Hello and welcome to another update video about Ethereum. On the Ethereum chart, it's needless to say that price hasn't really moved since yesterday. I'm still watching here for um, eventually a, a lower uh, price in this wave two. After price moved between the 15th of June and the 13th of July in a five wave pattern, which we call a wave one, possibly a diagonal. And price is now coming down in this wave two. We likely already formed the A wave of the wave two. That is the first wave of a three stage correction. We possibly already completed the B wave. Certainly the minimum requirements for this B wave have been fulfilled. That would have been the high, which was made here on Thursday, the 20th of July, but it would have been a very, very weak B wave. So we need to keep options open for a possibly more aggressive B wave, highlighted here with a question mark, higher into resistance, but it's nothing. It's nothing I'm primarily looking for. I'm primarily looking for um, a, a more direct drop from here. And to confirm that, however, it would need to break below 1875. At the moment, however, price action would make this more likely for me. That, would, um, that view would include the idea that we already saw the A wave. Yeah? We already saw the B wave in a corrective pattern. And we're now already unfolding in the C wave. Or not we are unfolding, but price is unfolding in the C wave of wave two, the C wave is always a five wave move. And we have likely seen already a wave one, a wave two, reacted to resistance. And now we are coming down in a third next. I'm going to zoom in in a minute. Then a fourth and a fifth. This is what I would be looking at as a primary scenario. On the bigger time frame, yeah, there are also two alternative wave counts. They are both bullish, however, as long as we're holding $1,700. Only below $1,700, an alternative trend will play out. Okay, and then we have to change our perspective to more bearish short term, but not necessarily big, not necessarily very bearish on the bigger picture side. But yeah, we would then have to uh, understand that the trend is going in, an, in a different direction and that an alternative trend is playing out. But as long as the $1,700 or let's say $1,713 level is holding, there is no need to change here perspective and the wave count. The idea is, um, there again, there are two alternatives which also allow for a third wave rally afterwards because that's the idea, that this yellow box is going to be the launch pad for a third wave rally, okay? Uh, that would be very aggressive, very strong. It would be a FOMO wave. In an alternative interpretation, the wave one already topped here and we already completed the A wave. We completed the B wave highlighted here in yellow. And the move down is currently a C wave. It doesn't make a great difference. Okay, I have little, little, um, yeah, little evidence that a more lasting bottom has been made already. And then we have one more um, scenario, which would include that all of wave two is already finished. But then again, I have very little evidence that the third wave has already started. So I don't really see that as um, as something that I follow primarily at the moment. So the idea is still to go lower in the C wave. And now let's zoom in and you can see here, I added a box. It's a potential target box, but it's a moving target. It will move with the sub waves yeah, slightly, but at least it gives an orientation. So if we assume the A wave already bottomed, if we assume the B wave already topped, then we're now looking down in a C wave. Um, this would be a five wave move. And the idea is we completed already a wave one of that five wave move. We completed already a wave two of that five wave move. And the next move down would be a third wave of that C wave, then a four and a five. This third wave yeah, um, should reach an area between 1808 and yeah, 1830. This is at the moment just for your orientation. It's, you know, it might go a little shorter, it might go a little longer, but that's sort of roughly the area where we would expect it to get to. And then ideally another four and a five. Now what can happen sometimes is that cryptos do not produce ABC structures, but they only produce WXY structures. In a WXY, this will be the final low, okay? So that you, just that you know that. Um, but yeah, this is what we're looking for. I expect a quiet weekend. Yeah, this looks like a quiet weekend. It doesn't look like we're gonna see a lot of price action. You never say never. And if we break below 1875, I think it will send it down directly in a third wave. But I don't think this is going to happen today. Might happen late tomorrow or on Monday. Bear in mind, next week we've got the Fed week as well. We've got an interest rate decision. 
Uh, most uh, market participants or generally probabilities would highlight a uh, 25 basis point increase. That is not really bearish or bullish. What is bearish or bullish would be would depend on um, what actually will be decided because 25 basis points is likely already priced in. So that means if it's more than that, it would likely be bearish. If it's less than that, it would likely be bullish. But I think we have to expect a 25 basis point increase. And as long as that's what it is, I wouldn't see too much movement, maybe some short-term volatility. Yeah, but that's my update about Ethereum. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.